Hi guys, welcome to Code Solutions once more. I am Khumsan Peculiar and this is the platform where we solve all code problems. And through this, we hope that you get to understand what the problem is and coding in general. You can also send in your problem questions on our email address, gg.ndhalang.com. So for today, we are working on a very, very exciting problem. Uh, let me clear off this what we have on the desk here yeah? and set up our compiler okay so for our problem today we have this beautiful question which tells us to write a C++ program that takes a number an input and prints its multiplication for a table of up to 10 okay so we are given a, an example here so this looks quite simple right now let's analyze our problem so now what we have here is we need to prompt the user to enter their input to say input a number and if you entered a five as we see on our problem questions this five needs to be multiplied up to 10 times which means we are going to be using a loop because we're seeing repetition here of multiplication of this input by a 1 until a 10. we have realized our logic right okay so let's start up with our problem the only variable we'll be needing for this problem is our input number i'll just declare it as an integer and it will only be easy to get our multiplications when it's integers but you can do any data type now prompt our user for input Now to create the logic of what's actually expected of us. Like I've already mentioned, this is going to be a loop because we have realized a pattern. We have our number here and then initially we need to multiply it by 1. The next round we need to multiply it by 2 until we get to a 10. Loops enable us to do that. Starting from a 1. Ending at a 10. Keep adding on. With every row, what we want to see is we want to see our number and it will be multiplied according to what we're seeing here on our, in our image, multiplied by the count. Remember, it will be multiplied by 1, and then it increments. Next time, it's multiplied by 2, increments until it gets to a 10. And then this is our answer. And there we have it. Simple as that. Let's try our problem and see if really, really it was as easy as it seemed. Enter the number to multiply. Let's start off with a 1. We have it. We have our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful completed code. This is quite simple, right? What you need to do is just to read through the code. Don't look at something and say it's large, it's long. I'm not going to be do it, able to do it. It is quite easy. We have what we see on our problem question. And then let's use the same sample we have on our problem question. There we have it. 5 by 10, 50, 5 by 5, 25. Try out your own problem questions with powers now. Let's say squares. That I would love to find how you do that. See you in the next video.